So, ever gone, you know what, it's a hot day or I just feel like something sweet, let me just go through the Macca's drive through Or maybe your kids are like, mom, 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 can we have a, right? You go through the Macca's drive through and you say, can I please get a McFlurry? Or you could say, can I get a slushy? What is a common response from the worker? What flavor do you want? No, not that one. Um, Try do you one. want? Do you want um, a, a large? I'm doing no. it. Upgrade. Upside. Upside. Yeah. No. Upside. I think it was no, you guys aren't getting it. Do you want? Do you <laughs> want two McFlurries? No, Alexander, have a try. I know what it is. I put this in there, <laughs> and, it's, <laughs> and it's by far. The most common response I've ever had. Yeah, from you guys are gonna kick yourself when you realise. <laughs> try what? again. I'll give you one last try. Um. Um. Hot Anything fudge. With that? You no, want, you want I, more hot you fudge. You failed. <laughs> Chocolate fudge. No, it's strawberry. No, this is the response. What? Oh, I'm so sorry, but the machine's broken at the moment, or the machine's not working at the moment. I don't get that. What? What? I never get that. Ever. I get you it don't all order these the things, time. I, By the far, amount of the times. single, whenever I've, milkshake or ice cream, the most common slushy. response I've ever had is, oh, sorry, machine's down. Yes. Ask the boys so many times. We're like, ah, I've even done it. I've gone to two places. So I've gone to one and then we want it so badly. We'll drive to another and I've got the same response. And I'm like, ah. What, what day have you gone on a 40 degree day? I can't day? remember. I can't remember. So get this. Yeah. Filmmaker Johnny Harris yeah. found that there are multiple reasons behind this strange phenomena of their ice cream machines being broken. <laughs> strange phenomena. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Okay, it and he said it. Wow. He said. It never we're, seems we're, to we're, happen. We're looking at the bottom of the barrel for phenomenon. So this is a strange one. <laughs> <laughs> it never seems to happen at any other fast food outlets. Bearing in mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one person, after being told, oh, sorry, the machines are down. He's like, this is that. Uh, this is this is not on. Rash <laughs> Rashik Zahid. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going on a slight tangent, but this is interesting. So he was inspired in the summer after he went to pick up a, a McSunday and it was broken. He has developed McBroken. McBroken Yeah, app. McBroken, yeah. It's a site which displays a map of the US with every Maccas marked with either a green dot or a red dot, meaning either their ice cream machine is working or it isn't. Yeah. The way he does this, by the way, is that he has developed a bot to place an order at every McDonald's in the country every 30 minutes. Now, the order will not go through if the machine is not working. It will not accept the order. So that will automatically pop up as a red dot. Okay. He doesn't continue with the order. <coughs> By the way, this would have placed $18,752 worth every 30 minutes, <laughs> right? But they're actually not placed. See, the, the orders are not placed, but it will bring up the red dot or the green dot so you can check the app and see which Macca's is. is That's pretty you know. smart. That's a pretty so smart app. So smart. I mean, it is so smart. It's for a yeah, useless, I, the, it's a useless use. I've got a strange, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking he's wasting his talent. <laughs> I thought that too. I thought Maccas could actually employ him or somewhere else could employ him. You, to come up you with... say that, I reckon he's probably made a bunch of money off of that app. So I don't know if it's not wasted. Advertising? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Now, even at one point, 11% of the machines were down in the whole country. But I digress. <laughs> I so digress. <laughs> the reason that this happens is because they have a cleaning cycle, like the machines that they use for the ice creams has, has a cleaning cycle. Now they have two separate cleaning processes. One is a very labor intensive 11 step clean that involves sanitizing the whole machine, including removing, removing several, several parts, seven parts actually. If the team are busy serving customers, 
making food, it says it will sit as inoperable. Okay, so that's one reason. It also has a four hour deep cleaning system. So let's say it's 24 hour Maccas, then it's unusable for four of those 24 hours as well. Okay, and then staff members are also gonna put this on usually when opening up the shop, let's say, or closing. So again, more time out. Now it uses, get this, the Maccas franchise agreement states that if you use a standardized food and machinery, sorry, that you have to use a standardized food and machinery across all their franchises. So they all use this one brand yeah. of machine from a company made called Taylor. Now, get this. This machine came out in 2003. It's called the C602. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Other... <coughs> Other restaurants also use this machine, but this exact model must be used by all McDonald's restaurants. Now, the heat cycle on the machines can sometimes fail for no apparent reason. That will also make it not work. And what you have to do is call out someone from this one company, Taylor, to come and fix it. Yeah. Did you know that Taylor gets 25% of the revenue from repairs? meaning that a massive portion of its franchise is relied on parts and service network. They want it to fail, so they get 25% revenue to go and fix it. Yeah. I don't understand why that's a shock to you. Because it's in every single yeah. Macca's in the entire world. But or maybe in the all US. maintenance works. US. But what I'm saying is Mac, think of McDonald's, how yeah, much yeah, money yeah, they yeah. make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sure they can find wait, a wait, better. Wait, wait, let me, get me into the zone of Macca's, yeah. McDonald's. The Golden Arches. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. Been around for decades. Yeah. This place makes a lot of money. Mm. Why the hell can they not get a better machine? I know. What's that machine called? The C602. I just saw on Wired.com, it talks more about this, right? Yeah. So apparently these um, Taylor C602s cost $18,000 each. Yeah. It has a secret passcode that it will not give to the franchise owners, right? <laughs> and the systems are extremely fragile, continuously break. The Taylor calls someone out to go. They put in this secret password. Now, someone figured out something about if you press, what did it say? If you, there's some buttons on this C602. <laughs> you press the one that shows a snowflake and a milkshake to set the digits on the screen to five, then two, then three, then one. After that precise series of no fewer than 16 button presses, a menu magically unlocks. Only with this cheat code can you access the machine's vital signs. So the vital signs being the viscosity setting for its milk and sugar, um, temperature of the gly glycol, glycol, all this stuff, right? But they don't give this code to the franchise owner. So the franchise owners can't just go, oh, I'll try and fix it. You know, maybe there's something, whatever. Mm. And they have to call in Taylor, yeah. which as we said, they charge a bunch of money to fix it, but they don't give them the tools to like, it's like a secret. As I, as I said, this feels like more of a scam than that poor Chinese guy. The B-side word. 